Hey everyone, Xerix here. I am going to be doing a playthrough of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be doing the 20th anniversary remake of that game. I am pretty excited to be doing this. I was doing a blind video of a different game, but it wasn't really turning out to be all that exciting. And I kind of wanted to stop. And Gabriel Knight was always a favorite of mine, and I knew I wanted to do it at some point. And I was actually getting ready to stop doing the other game and maybe work on Gabriel Knight. Uh, when I got an email today, I knew there was a remake coming out, but it actually came out today. So uh, it seems like pretty good timing, so I'm going to be playing that instead. So far I haven't really played much, I just went in and did a little bit of playing around to make sure that the video worked okay and it was recording okay. Um, as for the game, Gabriel Knight's a voodoo themed point and click game. It's directed by Jane Jensen, it was originally and even in the remake is directed by Jane Jensen, which is good. Uh, originally it was released by Sierra Online, though the remake is co-developed by Pinkerton Road, which I think is Jane Jensen's uh, development company, and Phoenix Online, who did uh, a few Sierra remakes and Cognition. So I'm hoping, I, I've got some good hopes for this. Um, one of the things I really liked about the original was it had a really good voice acting cast and I did notice that when looking through the credits that nobody was back to redo their old roles. Uh, whether or not that will be a bad thing, a good thing, or doesn't matter, I guess we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, um, if I remember right, uh, most of the, uh, when I hit new game, most of it's just going to be kind of a intro cut scene and some credits, so might as well uh, get started with that. They also did include the graphic novel, uh, which is kind of like a prequel to the game, but it does kind of have spoilers, so I won't load that. It even tells you I think you're not supposed to, or you shouldn't look at it until you're at a certain day in the game. The game goes over multiple days, I think maybe 10 or so. Take a quick look at settings. I think these save, so when I was playing with them earlier, they're gonna stick. Yeah, I think so. Let's just go right into a new game.
right. So enter a sequence and the credits. And then a blank screen as we wait. A little dagger as your cursor here. Yeah, as I said, so this goes out over several days. This is going to be the first day. There's a little bit of text that kind of gives you hints or just some flavor information. Uh, I dreamt of blood upon the shore, of eyes that spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black as was her scented skin. That was good timing. Uh, that they didn't, uh, even though the original game was voice acted, they didn't actually narrate that part in the original game either. Kind of ex was just kind of expecting it not to happen. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. So that intro dialogue is a little different. Most, a lot of it's the same, but uh, Grace, or they both have a couple of extra lines in there. Or changed lines. Um, uh, yeah, so definitely different voice actors. Uh, Tim Curry did Gabriel Knight. Uh, I think it's Leah Remini did uh, Grace. Both of them. Not in this version. But that's okay. We'll see how it changes things. Uh, we get a little tutorial to start. We get our score, like a typical Sierra game. We have score that goes up when we solve puzzles and we do things. Uh, one thing they mentioned, clicking and holding down the score bar will show all of the hotspots. The space bar also does that. That takes away a lot of the pixel hunting, but it also, if you kind of abuse it, kind of like in Willy Beamish where you, uh, yeah, where you're able to hit tab and it would just cycle you through the hot spots. This is good in that you can use it to find kind of neat things to look at, but it you just go to an area and you hit space and suddenly you see something incredibly suspicious, you're gonna look at it. Part of the original game I liked is that things weren't very obvious, so I probably won't be using that a whole... Uh, maybe I probably will, just so that... Uh, we have more things to look at. But uh, yeah, move the cursor around to find hotspots or to move. Once to walk, double click to teleport. If you hover over something you can interact with, there's a little text label. Handy, I guess, if you don't want to pixel hunt again or you don't know what things are. And pause button for the menu. Journal button over here, which records some thoughts. Basically, pretty much gives you a brief overview of what, you, what you've done and maybe some gentle hints in the right direction unless you turn on hints in which I think it probably tells you where to go. And the star loads some special edition stuff, probably like uh, concept art, stuff like that. I probably won't go into that too much. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it has spoilers for later on in the game anyways. This apparently hides things. This is a very typical inventory and this brings you to the map. Uh, there's like a world map. Um, normally you just leave an area and it brings you to the map, but it looks like they added a shortcut here. And lastly, when you click on an item in the world, you'll get various options to do stuff with things. Pretty typical, you just don't pick it from a drop-down. Um, 
they kept with uh, Sierra, the Sierra original game somewhat in that they separated out some actions. A lot of time the hand will be uh, like a catch-all do something with something. Uh, in this case, the hand is to pick up you have an operate icon and a specific open icon. Uh, normally, the hand icon would do all of those. There were a couple of other icons that looks like, or they, yeah, that they did condense down. Uh, there were two different talk icons. There was an ask questions and just a general talk. I think there might have even been a push and a pull, but those aren't necessary, so they kept those out. Um, along the lines of talking, there is a lot of talking in this game. M a lot of the game can't progress unless you ask about certain topics, and you pretty much are going to go around talking to everybody, asking them the same things over and over again. It sounds boring, but it's really not. This is actually a really fun game, and there's a lot of pretty good story behind it. And replay this tutorial now. And about the hotspots, yeah, this is cheating. Just saying. Um, I actually wanted to check one thing in the settings before continuing. Okay, it saved this from an earlier playthrough too. Uh, when I was playing it through earlier, uh, you could barely hear the voices over the music. Even still, I think it's a little hard to hear. I kind of want to turn it down a little more. That might be good. And what actually kind of before I actually get into the game, I know I'm kind of rambling on a, long, a lot about this, like, like comparing it to the other game. The narrator voice is on. Um, this I think this is probably the only Sierra game that gave you the option to shut the narrator off. And from what I gather, from what I've read, it, people had complaints that the narrator actually sounded kind of weird. And I I like it a lot. I think it adds a lot to the. Uh, the game uh, had like a weird accent and uh, I mean it's a very southern themed uh, like, uh, I don't know you'll hear it uh, they it's it's not it's not the same person but same kind of accent actually we can just go and look at something I think the ladder provides access to the uppermost shelves of the bookcase I don't know I like it Oh, okay. This is not not normal. I was actually just randomly clicking on things to look at things, but this is not in the, ri the original game, so... Uh, World of Snakes. And a dictionary and a poetry book. A book of German poetry that once belonged to Gabriel's grandfather. Gabriel has always found it strangely compelling. Can we take it? Oh no, I guess we would have to operate it. That's nice. Kinda creepy though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling this guy was one sick puppy. Interesting. Okay, I don't... I'm pretty sure they added this in to make a later puzzle a little bit more doable. I'm gonna skip it for now. But yeah, I think this is there to help you with a different puzzle. Unless this was in the original game and I never found it and I just kind of randomly happened to get the puzzle right. It, it, it was kind of a weird, obscure puzzle. Uh, I think I might have even needed a walkthrough for it, I don't know. Um... Gripes, just the, like from just from starting this and wandering around um, while I was testing, I have a little bit of gripes with the uh, just the interface. They say you can double click to teleport. They mean it. It's not a fast walk. You just appear there. A little weird. And um, I don't know if I can do it. Intentionally, if I look outside, books overlook Bourbon Street. you can kind of see like there's a little bit of like 
a haze here. If you look and click to skip, it it also pretends that the animation still happened. The window. See that? That's kind of weird. I, that's a little bizarre. I don't know. That's just one dialogue, but if you skip a bunch of dialogue, you're just gonna see things going spinning crazy on the screen, or things just going crazy. Only uh, only real gripes I've had so far, though. Even though I've probably griped 50 million times since starting this. Anyways, so the first thing we always do at the start of the day is have some coffee. But we are it forced us to do that anyway, so we'll skip that. Second thing to do every day is to look at the newspaper. Times dated June 18th, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. <laughs> right. Tutorial, read the newspaper every day for new information. It does kind of give you a little bit of hints. Uh, in the original version, they were a little vague. But this is pretty much verbatim what the first horoscope was, so okay. They changed the name of the newspaper. I think it was like Times Picayune or something. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that was maybe something real that they had to change. Or maybe they just made it something generic. I don't know. Voodoo murders terrify residents. Uh, we already read. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we don't need the narrator to read it for us. There are apparently some voodoo murders going on. Um, we could read this, but I don't want to read it. And we'll learn a lot about that later anyway, so let's not. Uh, and if we look at the journal, it does kind of give you pretty strong hints. Um, yeah, we're doing research on the voodoo murders for a book. We're a novelist. Apparently not a very good one. Though I think in the original game it might have come with a novel? Maybe that was a graphic novel I'm thinking of, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, it tells you maybe one of her messages will provide some inspiration. Maybe we should talk to Grace. Yeah, well, I mean, it did pretty much tell us to do that anyway, so let's do that. Uh, did I not click on her right? Hey, stop it. That doesn't work that way. Uh, we don't have an item selected, so we can't use it on her. Don't mind if I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. Like I haven't tried. That isn't the original, I know that. Let's talk to Grace. And well, like I said, there's a lot of dialogue in this. Right? What's up? Okay. Tutorial most key topics required to progress are highlighted in gold. I don't know if I like that. Um, a lot of this game is talking to people and getting more information about the story, and there are times where there's like 15, 20 different things to talk about. And. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that they pretty much tell you which ones are going to progress to the next area. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to play them all anyways. Let's start out with the question that we are going to ask every single person and this line of text is going to be so overplayed this entire game uh, that it will be funny eventually. I don't know. What do you know about Voodoo? I yeah. didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Yeah, what do you know about voodoo? This is asked to every single person in pretty much, at least when in the original it was pretty much in the same tone and it, it probably was the same audio clip, I don't know. And the topic stays, in this version at least, in the original it would gray out eventually, but it'll actually disappear when we're done talking and we have nothing else to ask. What do you know about voodoo? I've told you all I know. 
sorry I can't be more help. They'll actually stay for one extra time for the person to complain that they don't have anything to tell you. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. What do you know about the voodoo murders? You won't get far questioning me about it, Sherlock. Yeah. Okay, voodoo research is the first gold highlighted item. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. And we get little, you did something right, char or chime. Uh, because we clicked on something that was gold. Um, yeah. So that gave us new areas to go to. And so far, actually, the dialogue's been pretty much identical to the original game, as far as I can tell. Some of the, the conversation I can definitely remember from the other one. What can you tell me about Nolens? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. What else can you tell me about Nolens? You're the native. Don't ask me. I'm gonna skip messages. I'll just keep on going. Actually, oh, okay. So earlier when I said that there were two different talk icons, one for questions, one for just general chat, looks like they kind of built that into the talking interface. This is probably what would have happened if I didn't use the question grace button. So, what's new Grace? Your use of mathematics for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. <laughs> And that oh no, chat actually is still there. Done anything interesting lately? By your definition? No. I prefer it that way. Keep him busy? Not really. If you need any research done, let me know. Seen any good movies? I saw a great documentary last night on pyramid excavations. You mean small, dark places that haven't been touched in centuries? Sounds right up your alley. Well, it did help me gain a better understanding of your mind. This voice actor kind of sounds familiar. So look up who doesn't. What else they've done? <laughs> kind of curious. Did I ever tell you that you're actually quite attractive? Be still, my heart. Had any customers lately? No, but I'm sure you have. You know, you really should get out more. But then who'd take care of St. George's? Me. Exactly. <laughs> okay, chat is over. Request research, re yeah, request research is grayed out, which means we probably can't do it. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? And nothing. At least it tells you don't worry I about it. I can't think of anything. It will still be there though, because we may need it in the future. And for most people, you can ask them about themselves. And that opens up an entire huge, long dialogue list, or list of things to ask people about and they're all custom to the person, pretty much. So, we can ask about herself, but this might take up the rest of the video. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? Yeah, it's not too bad. How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. Soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. Unlikely. One thing, I, I, I don't want to keep griping and I'll, I'll try and limit it to just this video and then in the future maybe I'll just point out little differences, but the, uh, the dialogue box and the thing, the Labels as you hover over icons seems kind of out of place. I mean, these at least look like they kind of fit in. They have a nice background. But the other ones are like, it's just like a random white text. What do you do after work? Yeah, like that. I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. 
You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. Yes, exactly. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Oh, okay, no, this is what I was thinking of. Anything is the thing that has... The, there are like 10 plus responses. They're just totally random things that the person will talk about. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my head. Just tell me anything at all. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. It's a very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. Oh, that actually was kind of short. I don't know if they cut out a lot of it, or maybe of it. I would assume there's a lot to talk about with Grace, but I guess not. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Eh, but that's still there. What do you want? Nothing. Maybe things will come Nothing. up. Um, so the big thing that the game is trying to force down our throats to. Well, I don't know if that's the right term to use, but the force us to do is to check our messages. Do you have messages for me? We know you do. Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey, and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Definitely something from the, uh, the game. The original. Do you have messages for me? Kind of stands out. I got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Good to know. More messages, apparently. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. No more messages. Maybe we could can't really do anything with herself. Box on the table, that is new. I think. The box has Gabriel's name on it, written in his grandmother's handwriting. Gabriel's father's old sketchbook sits on the top. Okay. The box has Gabriel's name on it. Written in his grandmother's handwriting. Can we take more things? I can go through the rest of that stuff some other time. Okay, so that's an item we normally get later, but uh, apparently we get it now. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. So, yeah, we, we can look... Actually, is there not much else to look at? Can we not change pages? Is, are there no more pages? Really? There were more pages in the other game. Uh, yeah, you normally get the sketchbook... Uh, sketchbook? Sketchbook? I can't talk. You normally get the sketchbook later. But apparently they decided to give it to you now for some reason. And there's another item that should have been here that I don't see here. So, this might it be interesting. Well, it's gonna be interesting. But, uh, how 
much it how much I'll be able to get through just by knowing the original game, I don't know. But for now, I think I will venture into the save menu. Ignore the fact that I already have a save. But we're still going to call it St. George's Book. Books. And for now, I am going to call that a video. So we, uh... We did a little bit of exploration, did some talking, but uh, we'll, we will explore the city some more, find some of these places that uh, Grace was talking about in the next video. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.